As your medical advisor, I strongly suggest you... What's going on, Team 20? I hope you're all super well. Jay, are you super well? I'm super I seem to well. always ask that question. Super well. I'm feeling much better, hence why we are down at the park today doing a session of our own. There are no goals on the field today, so we're just going to be doing first touch and passing, right? Yeah. Oh, what was our two touch record? 52. Was it 52? Alright, we're going to aim for 100. I reckon we can get 100. We get 100. We just rusted that day. Yeah, yeah. 100 is the target, so there's a little bit of space over there that we're going to go and use. But yeah, my sickness is getting better. Training tomorrow. We don't know yet whether we're playing an 11v11, but we didn't train on Monday with an 11v11, so we're okay. really hoping, fingers crossed, that we get the big field and can do that because I want to play games. So yeah, let's get training. Do you know what boots I'm wearing today? No, you can't even see it, mate. Because they're that fire! Except that Every day I'm raking them more and more, but they are flames, bro. No days. Yeah, no, he was doing I got 87, I, that was in my head. Uh, we we'll take 87. I reckon we can go higher than we that. We can definitely go higher than that. So we're gonna keep doing that off camera. Maybe we'll get more, maybe not. It's good fun though, or maybe we'll play against each other. This works on your first touch so much. You used to do this a ton at Accrington, Leicester. When did you do it? Exactly. <laughs> and as long as you're doing it properly, like I remember times I was at clubs where we would do rondo, piggy in the middle, whatever you want to call it, and people would just absolutely smash it, including me, then we'd muck around. Yeah. Whereas if you take this stuff seriously, you can really benefit from it. So we're going to keep cracking on with that. Alright, so we've just met all these guys here. They're playing a game called Wembley, where pretty much, from my understanding, the goalkeeper kicks it out, Jay and I will be on a team, yep. and then we have to, what, like run and, and get score. the ball and score. Can they tackle us? I have no idea. I don't understand, but Let's find so, out. look, something's going to happen, and uh, I, don't, I don't get it, but we'll see. So. It's a way of getting a goal, so why not? Yeah, exactly. Let's see what happens. Go running! Go running! We actually worked out how to play this game for a while. So it was basically, there's like 15, 16 people. Everyone was on a team of two except one guy and you had to score two goals and then you're basically through to the next round. So you sit out. It's kind of like the FA Cup, I guess. That's why it's called Wembley. I have no idea, but this was just a bit of fun for me and Jay. Obviously nothing too serious, but you know what? It was against somebody. We we're doing some sort of training with an opponent and these kids, or not even kids, they were just a little bit younger than us. They definitely wanted to tackle us and try and win the ball off me and Jay. So it was some good fun. I enjoyed it. Something a little bit different. Obviously not the most practical thing, but you know, it's just football. Yo, this is great. All right, we're going first person. This is what it's like. <laughs> There's just bare people everywhere. Win that. Put in, put in a good cross for you, didn't I? Yeah, it didn't get to me You were close. Oh, laters. I don't understand how this game works because no one shoots. No, people are shooting, it's not. <coughs> oh my god, finish oh. up. Oh, you messed it up. Alright, let's go. First person. Oh, I nearly tipped it over his foot. Win, Jay! Yes, Jay! <coughs> he scored. Oh, it's all Jay, bro. I don't understand how you can get a shot off. 
Oh, well, that's good fun. Finish, Jay! Finish! Jay! Oh, Jay shot in the box. He violated the game rules. What a rebel. Oh, is he gonna finish that? Oh, you finish that. Decent, decent finish. All right, I'm gonna put the camera away, just have a bit of fun. I'll update you guys if I score, hopefully. Yo, we did pretty well at that game of Wembley. I've never played it before, have you? Have you? No, never. Never even heard about it. Yeah, I know. I've, I've heard some kids I've coached when I was in Australia coaching talk and say, oh, can we play Wembley? Can we play Wembley? I'm like, I don't know what that is. That's too too hard, too complicated. Yeah. I think it's okay. There's not a whole lot of action. It's a bit of a free-for-all. Yeah. But did you see that goal I scored? Yeah, it's pretty good. I did. What's that move? The Hocus Pocus? Yeah. Flip flat? No. It's the one where you do in between, behind your left leg and then flick it around in front. Did that, and then how many meters outside the box were you saying? Like three meters outside the box, two meters outside the box. No, I think outside I... the box. It was on film. I'd, no, it wasn't. I'd say about four. That's my guess. Yeah. And I finished it. Top ends. Keep it got a fingertip to it, but everyone was like going crazy. Decent finish. I wish I got it on film. But yeah, decent little session. We beat the record. Beat the record. What was it? Oh, I completely forgot. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Bang. And then we also did long passing. I wish we could have played some football tennis. Imagine if there was like a football yeah. tennis field there. Yo. Then we could get the rematch. If you guys want to see the rematch of me versus Jay, let us know down in the comments because Jay, you've been asking for one the last couple of days, haven't you? Yeah, man. Look forward to it. Anyway, I'm going off to the shops now. I'm cooking for Papa Tweety tonight. Do you know what I'm cooking? Oh, I'm gonna have some meatballs and spaghetti. No, I've already cooked meatballs for him. I'm cooking up that lamb joint. Oh yeah. Oh, he's gonna like it, trust me. That is one of my specialty meals. And we still need to get in that cooking series. Oh, yeah, yeah. Once I'm feeling 100%, then I'll roast you in that. I'm not eating your sick food, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, look, that's why I haven't been cooking either. I, I think from now, like, you can tell I'm much better. Oh yeah. Yeah. I should be good to go for cooking. Off we go to Asda. <laughs> Always. Always full at the feet. There we got the two lamb joints for dad and myself. Now I've got to get the veggies. Veggies, veggies. Broccoli, carrot, potato. Yep, broccoli. That's the one. Broccoli merch coming soon, maybe. Would you would you buy broccoli merch? You'd cop. 10 out of 10. I reckon it's still like a good church. Oh, okay. So we got dad behind the camera. That's have right. Look, have a look at this, mate. We've got not only one lamb joint but we got two because cooking is tweedy with <laughs> cooking is tweedy because cooking with tweedy is back i'm making the lamb joint so cooking is tweedy <laughs> that's the second time i said that <laughs> so cooking with tweedy is back dad and i have been eating out of that bit but that's simply because i've been sick now that i'm feeling better and i can actually cook food that dad wants you didn't want to eat with me when i was sick did you no, so, of course not. Yeah, and I want to see my dad, so we ate out. Now this one's pretty simple. You can just chuck it into the oven, let it cook for a bit. Are you looking forward to this one? You like a good lamb, don't you? I do like a good lamb. It's a shame Claire's not here. Mm. She loves lamb. It feels good to be back in my natural habitat, the kitchen. I think this is where I really belong, Dan. Yeah, I think you should give up football. You know what? Why, why am I doing football when I'm this good at cooking? That's right. I don't know. You can cook what? At least four things. Yeah. <laughs> I should open up a restaurant. Yeah. You get four mains. If you don't like them, Too get bad. out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm lucky. Anyway, I'll catch you guys sometime throughout the process of the cooking. This is how dinner's looking so far. We got sweet potato boiling away in there. We got the carrots in there and the broccoli. We're going for a couple of minutes after. And then this is where we see the beautiful. Sheldon Tweedy lamb. Oh, look at that sizzling away. That's what you guys get to see. Dad, you haven't seen the lamb. Are you excited? Very. Lamb gets me excited. <laughs> cool. Bang, we got the meal. Dad, dig in. Tell us what it's like. You want me to do the taste test? Yeah. Live on camera. Live. That's a lot of pressure. Here we go. Dun, uh. That's very good. Ah, uh, is it? Very good. Honestly? Mm -hmm. There we go. Bang. Cooking with Tweety never fails, and we always eat in this beautiful forest, don't we, Dad? Look at it. It's, it's wonderful. It's nice to eat outside. Yeah, it's amazing. The places that football takes you, it's astonishing. Anyway, we're going to dig into this. Look, Dad just can't get enough of it, can yeah, you, come mate? on, over <laughs> See, you just eat one, mate. We'll catch you guys after. Jay, mate, you're missing out on cooking with 
the Tweedies. <laughs> the, the Tweedies. Yeah. Well, I guess it was all me. <laughs> this is th we cooked this. Dad loves it. Maybe I'll cook it for you one day. One day, hopefully. Maybe we should call it eating with the Tweedies. <laughs> While you're here, and then what happens when you leave? Eating Nothing. with the Tweedy. Yeah, eating. <laughs> <laughs> Dear. Let's just stick with cooking with Tweety, guys. Yeah, Tweety? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to stick with that, alright? Now, as we have finished dinner, I got news that I'm playing with Dorchester Town Reserves tomorrow. If it doesn't rain. Yeah, if it doesn't rain, of course. It never rains here, though. It's really no, fine. It never, never. It's always sunny and beautiful. But you'll be coming, won't you? Yes, it Which means, means that I have one of those wonderful evenings of freezing and videoing at the same time. Papa Tweedy coming through big! Now tomorrow I'm supposed to be training with Crawley Town under 23s from 11am till about 1.30 and we have to leave here at what, 4.45? Um, it'll be after 5 I think. We'll right, okay. But anyway. Something like that. We were discussing it and I've decided that I won't be training tomorrow morning simply because I'm still sick. As your medical advisor. <laughs> Here we go. I strongly suggest you don't try and train and play in one day when you got a cold. There we go, Papa Tweedy. Normally it'd be fine, but not when you're sick. Yeah. It's just silly. Because I was going to do it last week, Wednesday, train in the morning, train it, play at night. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. I need to be ready for that game. I won't be 100% for it, so I need to make sure that all the energy I have yeah. is ready for the game. So, no training tomorrow morning, game at night though. I'm looking forward to that. Footage. Footage, game footage, what? Game footage on my yeah, channel? A real game. A real game footage on my channel, what? If it doesn't rain. Yeah, true. Anyway, you're going, aren't you? I'm going home, yeah. You're going to do the dishes? No. Oh, thanks for dinner. <laughs> Sick. So with that in mind that I'm playing tomorrow, my work tools are a little bit dirty. As you can see, bang, two others are down in there. Now look, I gotta do this in the kitchen sink because if I do it downstairs, I have to use the shower or the bathroom sink. I don't think it's that big of a deal, just wash the dirt out after. I need to clean my boots anyway. What are the priorities here? A clean and beautiful sink or clean and beautiful boots? So let's clean them. I don't know if you guys can see, but I just rubbed there and the material is starting to come off. Oh, my favourite boots are dying. Well, this isn't good. I don't know if I can clean these ones. It's bedtime for me. I've washed the boots. They're looking good, I'll tell you that. I came out of the shower a while ago and I washed my hair with shampoo and conditioner and this is what happens. It just sticks out to the side. Now look, I said earlier on in the day after that session I was feeling better. I just don't know. My body is going side to side. It just can't make up its mind whether I'm feeling good or whether I'm not feeling good. So I think Dad's advice to take training tomorrow off is really important because I need to be performing for that game like I said. I can't wait. I, I'm so so pumped to play tomorrow. It's been a long time coming. Trust me, I am pretty damn excited. But anyway, Team Tweety, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like and share. Subscribe if you're around here. Join the journey, and I'll see you tomorrow's video. Bye. Listen, listen.